Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with a new video. So there is a great news that Yuzu has officially launched Yuzu Emulator on Android, which is still in an initial stage and available on Play Store. Today I'm going to show you the complete setup of Yuzu Emulator and test some games. Before starting with the video, people who don't know me, so it's me Akash and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button on the video. So let's start with the video. So the emulator starts with the welcome screen. So let's click on get start. Not showing to select as a product key. So look for the place where you have saved the product key and select. Now let's look for the location of your NSP ROMs. Now it's done. Let's continue. Here it will reflect all your games. Now let's move on to the settings part. So here the first thing is to get the early access. If you're looking for an additional benefits, so you can go for this. Second thing is the additional settings. The first one is general. Here you can select the speed limit of the game. And in systems you get the lock option, then enable region, languages and other options. So most probably we are looking for the dock option here next is graphic option so here you can select any of the graphic related options here even you get the aspect ratio here in audio so you just get the option to control your audio and the last is reset to default if you have done any changes and want to reset it to default you can go for that there's a theme option then you can install a custom gpu And if you have a amiibo key you can use that so this is the save location where you can save your games the same thing import export save and install product and last one is the about where you can get the build info of the user Let's test the first game which is Pokemon Violet. So the game actually boots up. Let's move further. So far now even this emulator has the graphic related issues while playing the Pokemon Warrior. As this is an initial stage so we can't expect much from the user. But as we already know the user is doing great on the PC version so we can look for a better update in the coming future. So yeah let's check out the second game which is the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So here it actually works much better than the Skyline Emulator because in Skyline Emulator this screen wasn't even loading. Let's check more if it has any graphic related issue in the coming video. So till now I haven't seen any graphical issue or any freezing issue with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu 
on this emulator. So if you're looking to play any of the game, the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu works completely on it. So you can go for this. So that's it in this video. Have a good day.